We do things, lots of things. And too much of the time, it becomes a physical problem when we do those things predominantly one-sided, asymmetrically. We carry loads on the same shoulder, over and over. We lift heavy objects, usually with the same hand, over and over. We swing a hammer with the same dominant hand, over and over. Sports. Twisting around in one direction, forcefully. Swinging one side like a pendulum, bent over. Throwing motions. But the tensions and torsions add up, even if the activities don't look athletic. Many multiples of loads add up when performed thousands of times, like housework and office work. Opening doors, always with the same hand. Driving habits. Talking on the phone. Carrying a purse or a briefcase. The raw physics of these one-sided, repetitive movements is that a mechanical torsion, a twisting, occurs a little bit each time. It's cumulative. When these movements are done over and over, the twist that occurs causes serious mechanical problems and nerve problems because the spine is the fuse box of the body and the electrical circuitry gets short-circuited when the spine gets twisted up. The problem can manifest mechanically or neurologically with pain or disease. While it's true that we may never achieve perfect symmetry, it is also true that to the degree that we become asymmetrical is the degree which important functional problems can occur. Let's examine symmetry a little more thoroughly because there's strong evidence that a balanced body is worth striving for. Facial symmetry is well studied as an ideal as is overall body symmetry. Body symmetry is a sign of reproductive fitness, and when a healing occurs, surface infrared scans show improved symmetry in body heat. After healing from cancer, after healing emotional problems, Symmetry is also prevalent in the physical sciences and is woven into the very laws that govern our universe. Science shows us that a balanced body works better. And what happens when our symmetry gets distorted? Functional problems, disturbances in health, as with Beckwith Weidman syndrome and Proteus syndrome, when specific parts of the body may grow abnormally large, fundamental mechanical weaknesses translate into serious health problems like cancers, kidney and liver disease. Mechanical asymmetries can predict emotional disturbances. There can be several causes of asymmetry in the body. Nerve or muscle disorders such as cerebral palsy, Marfan syndrome, or muscular dystrophy. Hormone deficiencies like in the pineal gland. And brain chemical imbalances of melatonin and serotonin. And subluxations, spinal misalignments, which is why we visit the chiropractor for adjustments. But predominantly, the largest loads are the ones that add up from thousands of torquing, one-sided, asymmetrical, repetitive tasks. We do them over and over with the same hand, lopsided. Let's take a deeper look at just one example of one-sidedness, the psoas muscle. The psoas muscle looks like this and does this. Notice how it attaches to the lumbar spine on one side. 
when someone sleeps in this position, with one thigh up most of the night, the psoas muscle becomes shorter. It contracts. See how the contracted psoas muscle causes tension and torsion and twists the lumbar spine, causing a curvature? By performing an exercise to stretch and lengthen that psoas muscle, the spine can unwind from its tensed position and relieve pressure, as well as return to a more symmetrical form. My clinical practice is a combination of chiropractic biophysics, which uses adjustments to the proprioceptive nerve system to make positive structural changes, and the Schroth method, which has been scientifically proven to correct even severe scoliosis through the use of individually tailored home exercises. Self-correction is very possible to a large degree simply by stretching and exercising your body to be equally flexible and strong on both sides. Your healthcare guide may suggest changing the side of the bed you sleep on or carrying weight purposely on the correct side. Remembering to use the other hand to open a door. This can be very influential in correcting your misalignments. Habits are huge. Become aware of them. Consciously take more even balanced movements and positions. A thousand little things add up and far more appealing than some of the alternatives like back braces or laminectomy discectomy like surgically infused Harrington rods. I hope this video has helped to emphasize the importance of symmetry in the body and the changes we can make to keep it from getting twisted up and even unwind our existing torsions. Being more conscious helps everything. I'm Dr. Dan Schultz. Thanks for watching.